a dream, of course, to put my name beside all the, the legends who won this tournament. And especially, it's, as you said, it's the oldest tournament in, uh, in, in, in squash. So, uh, so can you imagine how many, many players or generation passed on playing this tournament? So. <laughs> Egyptian lady ever to win the British Open, the most prestigious title on the PSA World Tour. All the emotion is there, quite right now, it's wonderful to see. I think the British Open is the oldest tournament in tour. And uh, I remember when I was young that everyone was always looking forward to play the British Open and wait for this tournament. And uh, yeah, and I remember, uh, I remember when I reached the, the final one, I think I was 16 years old, right? So uh, yeah, and I, it was really a special one. And uh, I think it was the first final in a World Series event. So uh, it was very special for me. And I think it was in London in the O2 Arena, right? So uh, yeah, it was really special and I uh, don't think I even expected to reach the final. And I remember I played uh, a lot of three twos to the... I remember I, remember I played Madeleine Perry and Alison, I think. And uh, yeah, I won her name in the semi-final. Uh, yeah, maybe Annie also. <laughs> I don't know, but I really remember this tournament very well, and uh, I remember the the venue, the people, the every match, and uh, yeah. But uh, it it was really one of the tournaments that I will never forget in my life. No El Shabini Egypt serving. Nicole David Malaysia receiving. Best of five games. Lovell. So the young 16-year-old getting proceedings underway here at the Alam British Open Squash Championships. It's the women's final. Two wonderful players here on court, both for very different reasons. Yes, um, very different different style. Um, I don't think we'll be seeing a copy of the, uh, the semi-final between Noor and, and Raneem yeah. yesterday. It was really, I think I had a lot of mixed feelings that I'm in the British Open final and playing Nicole at the same time. So, uh, yeah, I think that there was a lot of things going in my mind. And but I think uh, playing squash was the last thing to think of it this day. But uh, yeah, I was trying just to uh, to believe that that uh, I'm in the final and playing Nicole and uh, I've beaten all these top players. Uh, so, yeah, it. Uh, it it was really, really I think it's also one of the start of a lot of things after it. I started you know, thinking in another way, in an, another way, trying to focus more in practice and uh, to think to play how to play al with the top players. So uh, yeah, but uh, I think Nicole just beat me in three love in twenty minutes maybe. But uh, yeah, at, uh, still it's it was special to reach the final. When I reached the final, I started believing that I can, I can beat top players and I can improve in the, the PSA tournament, improve in the rankings. So, uh, so reaching the final of the British Open gave me a, gave me a huge confidence to, uh, to work hard and to uh, try to improve. I, I didn't have a lot of good results after it, but uh, I came back and won uh, the British uh, two times now. 2016, women's final match, Nuran Goha of Egypt to serve, Noel Chabini of Egypt to receive. Best of five games, love all. So Nuran Goha kicks off the Alam British Open 2016. And it's the Battle of the Egyptians here in Hull. Norel Shabini, who's been working massively on her physical attributes. She's been doing huge amounts of uh, background gym work. She's starting to really become uh, 
physically very strong. In 2016, uh, the first British Open I won is... Um, uh, I think it's, it's a, there's a huge difference than the one I reached in the final because uh, now I'm, I think I was in the top 10 and uh, been playing a lot of tournaments, had a lot of experience and uh, I think it was the time to, to win a tournament, now a big, a turn, a, a big title. And uh, I think this one was the second, second World Series title for me. So um, I think it was before the World Championship. Uh, yeah, so I, I think coming back to the British Open, I'm more mature now. I'm big enough to know how important this tournament. I'm top ten, so uh, uh, I'm now I'm not playing just playing for squash. I'm now coming to win a tournament. So uh, I, mean, I, I can't remember who I played the whole tournament actually, but I remember the the match was Noron in the final because this was the second time. To play her after I lost from her the from Wadi Degla, so it was this in this match was very uh, nervous for me and I was um, wanted to be wanted to to win this match, so I was trying to focus on the match more than it was the final of the British Open. So uh, yeah, so this is the difference that now I'm in the final, but thinking on more on squash, not on the everything else. <laughs> so. Oh. Well, there's a roar the from Goha. Came to Goha. Goha leads against the one. Well, in the battle of the Egyptian ladies, 38 minutes, and it's a 12 game, 12 minute third game. She now leads by two games to one. I think I was, the pressure was on me because I lost from her last time. Uh, that was the main thing on my mind that I just wanted to win this match. I, was, I wasn't thinking of the, of the final. Uh, she's younger. I'm high seed. No, I was just thinking I just wanted to win this match. And I remember I was alone, so uh, this was wanted to, uh, to. I think we had Shabana, but like we're in the final, just both of us Egyptians. So uh, yeah, so I had. A, I, I was trying to focus on squash more in this day, but. Uh, I'm, yeah, I think I was really, really glad to win at the end and uh, to add like the first British Open on my name. It's, it was really good before the World Championship. I couldn't wish for a better, this is a better second half of the season. So two championship balls for Noor El Shabini in this British Open final 2016. That looked out of court. That looked out of court. She's finished it anyway. Shabini has made history here in Hull. The first Egyptian lady ever to win the British Open. And what a way to do it. Just 20 years of age. One month older than the great Susan Devoy. It's, it's a dream, of course, to put my name beside all the, the legends who won this tournament. And especially, it's, as I said, it's the oldest tournament in, uh, in, in, in squash. So, uh, so can you imagine how many, many players or generation passed on playing this tournament? So, uh, yeah, it's really special and I'm really, uh, really like it's, it's a pleasure to put my name. To have two British Open titles is really big for me and uh, I hopefully, hopefully I can try to make them more if I can.